Uh, yeah, I mean, just couldn't make laps, couldn't make threes. And, you know, uh, can't go on the road and win if you can't make layups. And, you know, you got to make some threes. So credit, credit to Wyoming. They had a chance to, to wilt in the first half, and they did not. Um, that's a credit to the character of their coach and the leadership that he provides every day. Coach, you know, you mentioned the shooting, but what did Wyoming do differently? Because even though it was a close game at halftime, Wyoming seemed to really kind of take it up a notch in the second. Was, was there a big difference there or more on you guys? Uh, Got to make layups. Got to make, you don't make, our big guys just, we knew they were going to play zone. And when I found out, Alan told me last night about, I can't remember his name, number 14, uh, tearing his ACL. Uh, I just knew that they were going to play zone the whole game. It's, they're mad power, they're down. And um, so, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm really happy for Alan. I, you know, because for the last three days as we've been preparing to come here, uh, and I've engaged in conversations with media and a couple people when I came in last night to speak at uh, the function I spoke at, uh, there's a negative connotation about how oh, we're struggling. But the guy's giving you in his first two years as head coach, two 21 seasons. Um, he's got a brand new team. Those kids are fighting their tails off. They've had a chance to win every game they've played, dealing with concussions, knee injuries, all kinds of stuff. And he's held those kids together. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm disappointed in the kind of questions and, and the kind of comments that, that I heard from Wyoming folks representative of I guess their team right now. Uh, Alan Edwards is a winner. He's he's an unbelievable uh, leader of young people, and that's why they won today because of his character and who he is every day. And and he doesn't overreact uh, to, to ex excuse me. He doesn't come over with excuses as to the injuries preventing them from winning games that they've been in right there to win every single time. Uh, instead, we should all focus in on what he's done with Justin James and the kind of player that he's become uh, and, and the kind of leadership that he provides on every single every single day basis. Seems like every time you guys may run kind of the single digit second half, that Hendricks got open for a three or they just had a shot. Just, what did you think about their ball movement? Yeah, we, we, we didn't play very intelligent basketball today. We allowed missing shots to impact our defense. Yeah. Uh, we never ran. When they missed shots, we're a running team. We're in top, top 20 in the country in pace of game. And we, never once did we come up with a defensive rebound and guys run their lanes and advance and do what we did. Not one time. But we started all right, but you know, when you go on the road, you got to have uh, leadership. You got to have. Uh, uh, you can't expect freshmen unless it's Michael Beasley. I went on the road with Michael Beasley. That guy helps you win games on the road as a freshman. When you don't have Michael Beasley as a freshman, you need your upperclassmen to lead the way. We we didn't do a very good job of that. What do you think that attributed to some just some of the missed shots or missed layups, especially in the second half? Just you know, run out of gas, maybe just anything Wyoming did. What would you attribute that to? Uh, like we said, we didn't play uh, very intelligent. Uh, we didn't do the covers. You know, we practiced uh, the last three days properly during the game, and uh, basically we missed shots. I missed a lot of shots in the game. We missed shots, easy looks. She wasn't good.